no matter how you feel heading into next year, let me make one thing very, very clear. Trump's victory was not because people flooded the polls in support of a candidate that they adored. But of course, that hasn't stopped every liberal pundit and analyst from blaming Trump's victory on Americans' supposed hatred of black people and women. Over at CNN, a very terrified Van Jones blamed the whole thing on a racist white lash against a black president. This was a white lash. This was a white lash against a changing country. It was a white lash against a black president in part. And that's the part where the pain comes. Andrea Mitchell complained about how sexist voters didn't help Clinton break the proverbial glass ceiling. Late yesterday, her team was still optimistic that they would prevail. Instead, they are now planning a concession speech shortly this morning as history is put on hold yet again. The New York Times whined that Trump was elected by misogynists who hate women. Yeah, because 30% of Hispanics, 13% of black men, and 45% of white college-educated women voted for Trump because they hate Barack Obama's skin color and Hillary Clinton's anatomy. Because there is no other possible reason why anybody would have voted against the liberal line. It must be racism. It's always racism. Let me clear it up. This did not happen because Americans are sexist, racist bigots. Just maybe they were ticked off because nearly two million illegal aliens, not law-abiding immigrants, illegal aliens, came into this country unlawfully in the past five years alone. Maybe it's because a criminal alien can shoot an American citizen dead in broad daylight because of a sanctuary city policy that protected him over her, and our president doesn't seem to think that this is a problem. Maybe it's because Americans got a disastrous health care deal rammed down their throats and the whole thing is now falling apart. Thousands of people have lost health care plans that they already had, only to have them replaced with new health care plans that they didn't want, that their doctor didn't take, giving them coverage they didn't need at a price they couldn't afford. Maybe people are sick of being called homophobic, transphobic, xenophobic, racist, sexist, and patriarchal whenever they happen to disagree with some special snowflake who can't stand to have his feelings hurt. Maybe people are sick of endless terror attacks and riots in the streets whenever Black Lives Matter gets pissed off about something. And maybe it's because people just didn't feel like signing up for another four years of the same tired, terrible, progressive policies that have already screwed them over six ways to Sunday for the past eight years. You don't have to agree with it, and you don't have to like it, but here's the thing. Facts and data, they don't really give a crap about your feelings.